Well, thank you guys for tuning into Chicago Prayer and hope we pray for you all because we believe in the power of prayer because we're praying to the true and the living God of the universe who hear the prayers and who answer them all in his imperfect timing because his timing is perfect and his timing will always be perfect. Amen. Amen. And then also we share the good news of Jesus Christ right out of this true and act the living word of God which brings the free gift of salvation to you all if you believe by faith alone and if you repent of your sins and if you do all that it offers you the best gift of all which you can ever receive which is eternal life of Jesus Christ forever in his presence when you die. Friends, praise God for the free gift of salvation. Praise God for eternal life. And then awesome that we have eternal life of Jesus. I think it is awesome as well. This is why we do this video, do these videos to remind ourselves that one day that we'll have eternal life with Jesus and, and how this earth is not our home and that Jesus is our life. Um, so today we're going to be talking about how the power of God and what he can do in our lives or what he can do in any one of our lives if we, if we, because he's capable of, he's capable of doing it. God is a powerful God and he is worthy and he can do anything. So we just need to trust him and believe that he can do, move mountains. So we're going to be in Ephesians um, 3, 20 through 21. So if you have your Bibles, I encourage you to go grab them. Flip along to that passage with us. And as you flip into that passage, I will open this up in a brief word of prayer. Then we'll begin. Let's pray. Father God, what do you speak to us now by this passage? Transform our hearts, God. We want to hear from you. and We want to become more like you, God. We love you. We help us love you more. Amen. You guys ready? Ephesians 3, 20 through 21. To this. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever amen come on friends what does this mean let's um start it out from the beginning how did it start out only we're not going to read it a second time um this is somewhat of a long passage so i just want to break it down and talk to you guys about it then we'll close this video out in the way we normally do so how did this start out it says now to him who's him jesus the king of kings the lord of lords who gave his life up for you and me that's that's him now to him who what who was able to do more to do immeasurably immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work so immeasurably more, not to him, Jesus, who can do immeasurably more. That means as more than you can ever think or imagine. Immeasurably more than all you ask. Anything that you can ask or imagine. According to his power, that is at work within us. His power is at work within us. To him be the glory. We, we give the glory to him alone, not ourselves. To him alone, then to other people, but to him first. To him alone, um, in in the church and in Christ Jesus, throughout all generations, forever and ever, Amen. It never ends. Throughout all generations, even my the next generations come after me, all generations. What's the, the takeaway from this passage? What's my encouragement for you today? My encouragement is that you would believe God to do more. Maybe you want a loved one to be saved. Maybe you want, maybe someone is struggling with an addiction and you want someone to be freed. Let's pray. Let's ask God that he would do it. Let's believe God. Let's believe in the power of God. The power of God is real. We got to just trust and believe. That's what God wants us to do. And God does the rest. He, all he wants us to do is trust. Amen. Amen. Let me give you the chance to come to God today if you never have received Christ today. We do this at, at we do this give this invitation out at the end of every video that we make because we believe that this is the most important decision that one could ever truly make with his life is by placing their faith in Jesus Christ alone and accepting him as their Lord and Savior. So we wanna give you this opportunity right now. Um so here's what you do, you say a simple prayer of faith from the sounds of your own heart. Would you please repeat these words after me? Father God, I confess I'm a sinner. 
I confess my need for you. God, would you please come in my life right now, Lord? I cannot do this life without you, Lord. You're the only hope I have, Father God. So I repent of all my sins, and I turn to you, and I accept you as my Savior. Amen. Well, if you just pray this prayer today for the first time with us, then I want to welcome you in the family of God. Welcome you back in the family of God. Scripture says one one walks in the family of God, or one one walks back in. Heaven rejoices, and we rejoice along with you as well. And we've also been praying for this at very moment, because this is... This is truly one of the most important decisions that one can ever truly make with life, or that one has already made with life, by placing the faith in Jesus Christ alone and accepting the free gift of salvation that He offers you and that He offers me. I want to welcome you in the family God and welcome you back. If you just made this decision today for the first time with us and we committed your life to Christ today, I encourage you to reach out to me or to one of our team members because we want to be praying for you. We don't want to mock you at all. We don't want to press you. All we just want to do is be praying for you, walk alongside you, and give you next. Um, I'll be praying for you for the most thing. Give you next steps, the next resources to take. But most importantly, be praying for you. Then give you next steps. Because we don't want to miss part of our prayer. We don't want to pray for us. Then give you next steps. Well, friends, can I bless you all today before I send you all on your way? Is that fine? Would you put your hands up to receive the blessing of Jesus? May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. And may you truly never forget. Never forget that he is able to do more and capable to do more and you can ask or imagine or think. To him be the glory. Friends, to him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Friends, never forget what you can do. If you guys were encouraged by this topic and you just feel like someone else needs to be encouraged by this topic as well, would you please do me a favor? Click on that share button and share this hope with someone. Share this good news with someone. If you guys just need prayer for your life or hope, never, hesitate, never hesitate to reach out to one of us. We are here for you. We are for you. And we are willing to pray and just hear your story. Until next time, keep Christ number one and have a blessed day. Much love, y'all.